In this tutorial, I'll show you how to design an island. First of all, you need to have the design already figured out, so it's simply just putting it together in KCD. Start by clicking on Add Island Wall, and you'll notice that it changes to a top view, and then position that island wall wherever you want to have your island. Let's say I want to have my island right here. Now, I'm going to design just a very basic island, but you can make it as elaborate as you want by adding more units as needed. In my island, I'm going to use a standard 24 inch wide space for my drawers. So knowing that my shelf length is going to be 24 inches, and then 3 quarter inches for each of my side gables, the total overall width of my island is going to be 25 and a half inches. So I'll start with an island wall length that is 25 and a half inches. And I'll enter that in and press OK. Now with my island wall in place, I then want to build the support of my island, which I call the H support structure. To do this, I start by building it from left to right. So on my library, I'll go down to island. And in this case, I want to use medium kicks. So I'll open up that. And then I'll, I'll build my H support starting from left to right. And so I'll use the island gable left. And you can see what that is going to look like. And I will position it just on the left side of that wall. Now, when the add unit dialog box appears, I want to make sure that the location is, is set to zero because that's where my first gable is going to start. And with that checked, I'm going to say OK. Now the next component that I want to add is the island divider. Again, you could take a look at what that will look like. And I'm going to position this and drag it across. Now because I know that I'm going to use a 24 inch shelf length, this island divider needs to be 24 inches. So let's change that to 24 inches. And the location is going to be 3 quarter inch because that's uh, where this is going to start. So that's OK. Just make sure that it's set to 3 quarter and press OK. Now the last part for the uh, H support is the right island gable. And I'll click on that one and then position that roughly where it's going to be. Now, I just happen to get that in the, in the right position, but sometimes you may not get it exactly. So just make sure that the location, in this case, my shelf length is 24 plus the one gable three quarters. So this is going to start at 24 and three quarters. So if you confirm that that's right, then press OK. And there you have the H support structure built. Now with my H support in place, I can now add my cabinets that I want for the island unit. But first of all, I notice that the island is going to be a little bit too close to the other cabinet. And that's okay. If I uh, just change to elevation view and then double click on my island wall, I'm going to change the Y location here. And let's say I want to make it 60 inches. And I press OK, then go back to top view you'll notice that the whole island has moved away from the other cabinet. So now I've got lots of room. So with that, I want to add, let's say, a four drawer dresser. So from my library, I'm going to find island four medium drawers, and I'm going to add that to this side of my island. Now, I know that it's going to be 24 inches, and what I've got there is, is correct. And I want to make sure that the location starts at 3 quarters of an inch, which is also correct. So I'm just going to press OK for that. Now, you will get often, and it, it may be on the, the front or back of the island wall, but you'll get this Unit 8, in this case, as I'm drawing Unit 8, overlaps Unit 6. Unit 6 happens to be the island divider. And this is OK. So it says, do you want to erase unit 8? I'm going to say no, because I want it to overlap, and, and it's just the way that, that uh, it's built. So let's say no to that, and I've got that in there. 
Now one thing that I need to point out is the reference for this island wall. The side that faces the organizer is called the front of the wall. So in other words, the front of each of these cabinets will face each other. On this side of the island wall, it is referred to as the back of the wall. And I'll show you how this all works in just a minute. On the front side of the wall, I'll add a regular base cabinet. So let's find that. So island cabinet, that's just a regular base cabinet. And I want that, and I'm gonna put that in here. And now I know that the width, um, it came up as 25 and a half, and I know that that's wrong. It needs to be 24, so I'm gonna change that. And also the location can't be zero because that would be sitting right on top of my left gable. So it should be 0.75 or three quarters of an inch. And with those adjustments, I can now press OK and that uh, base cabinet will be in place. Now to view your island, just double click so you get an elevation view. So right now we're looking at the front of the island, which has the regular base cabinet. And as you recall, the front of the island faces the front of the organizer. If I want to toggle back and forth to view either the front or the back of the island, just right mouse click just above in the white space on the island itself. So if I do a, a right mouse click, I then get the back of the wall. And as you can see on the page, it says back of wall. And this is the uh, four drawer dresser that I added first. If I do a left mouse click, I'll go back to the front of the wall. So I can toggle be between the back and the front just by clicking my left or right mouse buttons. 